doggone it. And you take life head on and you say, suck it. I love the way we roll. I love the way we roll. I'll never let you go. I'll never let you go. I'm loving every time we roll. Wasn't gonna vlog today. It's Wednesday night. Coming home from church. Ran over something. My tire popped. Here's the picture. We're waiting for Ronnie to show up, come change a tire. I'm about seven minutes away from home. I wasn't gonna make it home because I got a notification said, oh, your tire's pressure's low. Went outside and I saw that and I said, oh, I can't drive anywhere. That would be dangerous, right? She's laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. All of a sudden we were at a pop and it like <laughs> exploded. I'm like, what the heck did I just run over? Doggone it. We just fixed our battery and now it's our tire. What is this? The end of the Draxmobile? Better not be. No, these are just small little fixes. Tires are easy, we could just change a tire. So I had the windows down, just cooling off, and I forgot that there have been bigger sightings in this place, in this area. She's like freaking out. She's well, gonna hyperventilate. She left the back open. I did, there's a, I said, no, no bear's not gonna crawl in here. Well, I am eating food, so I don't know. Oh, there's Ronnie right there. Night in shining, say that again. Night in shining armor. <laughs> I have a mouthful of chips. Come to our rescue. I'm a damsel in distress. Look how flat it is, you guys. Ow, my foot. Oh, I hope my, my shirt's gonna be stained black. Why do they make a jack like that that you can twist it? That's kind of dumb to me. You shouldn't need a twisting jack. You need a pump a jack. So I'd like to say for everybody's pure entertainment, probably not really entertainment, I just said that for no apparent reason, but uh, I think us animals deserve a break in life from all the crappy stuff that happens to us, right? What's up with our bad luck? Look at that. What did I run over? Whoa, what is that? What did I run over? Jeez. You have to pull it out and find out. <gasps> that scared me. Right. So... I just like to say for future preferences that if um, the universe can change in its attitude towards us, that would be great. That would be nice. Please and thank you. We have first the battery, now the tire. Other things that we don't mention on the vlog are happening. I just, I'm over it. I'm so over it. The universe needs to turn to our good side. We're good people, you know. We don't deserve all this crap. This is new. <laughs> you never see me driving Ronnie's truck and I'm driving Ronnie's truck. I took Ronnie's truck to drop off Alexia and Ronnie took the car home. Yeah, I was very serious when I was saying I just need a break. Uh, I'm tired of all the crappy things happening in life. I'm over it. I'm over it. All these little stupid little tiny things that keep happening is sucking us dry. I almost ran over a freaking deer or hit a deer, whatever. It ran in front of me. <sighs> Slammed on the brakes. It's one of those times where you just look at life and you take life head on and you say, suck it. Good afternoon, hopeful family. And happy national. Why don't you play with the slinky day? Why not? I totally felt like a Power Ranger on a snow cone today. Tired. But that's all right. We got softball tonight. Let's go see how the family's doing before we go there. Shoot, even my spare tire is low. Jeez. Good thing I have friends that live nearby us because I can't drive my car like everywhere until I get my tire fixed. I will get it fixed tomorrow. Um, see if they can patch it up or 
I have to get a new tire. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. But today I have worship team practice and I'm not driving around the county with a spare tire around my, my car. So good thing I have friends that live nearby me. That way I can just walk to their house and they could take me up to worship team practice today. So that's what I'm doing right now. So we won our game, and you had fun. So, you got anything else to say? He doesn't know. Good morning, Kaden. I know you do. No coffee for you. <laughs> I don't think kids should have coffee. It might do the opposite effect on you. Are uh, you ready for technology class? I'm a bit nervous. You're a bit nervous? It's gonna be third through eighth graders there and it's gonna be a full class. That class gets uh, filled up quickly, that's why I signed you up quickly. But it is a classroom setting. Let's see how you do in a classroom setting. You haven't been in a classroom setting in uh, over a year, so. Oh my gosh, I was nervous to drop him off in a classroom atmosphere at first. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. And I was going over instructions and rules and, you know, behavior because he has a hard time in, uh, he had a hard time in class before I pulled him out um, for homeschooling with his behavior. But go in there and there's like 50, 60 computers. The class is extremely full. There's going to be a lot of people. They have like, 3D printers and technology and kids that built their own computers and these little robots and I'm like oh my gosh I'm about to cry because this is the best class for Caden that he's going to be, excel so much. I speak into his life like every day. I don't know why I'm getting emotional but I speak into his life like every single day day that he's going to be the next Steve Jobs because he is so intelligent when it comes to technology so intelligent so I'm like getting all emotional because I think this class is going to really excel his brain he's gonna come up with inventions and uh, I'm so excited for this class now at first I was nervous but when I looked in and talked to the teacher and saw what was in the class there was like I said there was like a 3d printer and um, all these amazing computers I have to get him him um, his own headphones and a flash drive so he could take his work home like if he does any drawings on the computer or anything and I'm I'm so super excited ecstatic Caden was nervous at first but then when he heard that all the things that he could have done he's like okay bye mom get out of here I'm ready for class I'm like okay so I'm I'm really I'm really ecstatic for him and excited for him so the reason why I think I feel like I'm emotional is because I feel like this is going to be an amazing class for him and that he's going to be do really really well in this class so all right folks this is what I ran over right here that is what blew up my tire we're gonna see if they can repair it instead of giving me a new tire we'll see what happens it looks like it can be repairable. It's in a groove. So let's see what happens. Ugh, I can't believe I ran over that. Well, that's it for today's video. I'm gonna call it for today because we're gonna start a whole new video so I can have something for you guys tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. I wanna say hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. You are now part of the Hopeful family here on YouTube. And we'll see you guys all for another vlog. Love you guys so very much. Ciao. Life is for living. Let's see where the sun might lead.